How to create 3D animated characters sing on AI generated songs. Hey guys, this is Cheyenne and this tutorial, I'll show you how you can go ahead and use AI to generate songs for you for absolutely free of cost. It creates the lyrics, it creates the music and it also creates the voiceover as well. And then I'll also go ahead and show you how you can design the backgrounds, how you can design the 3D characters and how you can make your 3D characters sing with that song. So if that sounds interesting to you, then please stick on with me till the end of this tutorial and if this is the first time you are into this channel then please consider subscribing to this channel so without further ado let's jump over to my laptop and let's start the tutorial so welcome to this tutorial and let's start this step by step tutorial so the first step is going to be creating the song now for this we'll use a ai site called suno ai so you can just type over on your google chrome like suno ai and then you can search for it the first one that comes up is suno.com. You can just click on that and that will take you to this dashboard that you can see. Just come over here and click on create. Once you do that, you will get this kind of an interface. And as you can see, I'm using this regularly. So in here, you can write your prompt. In here, you have the chance to create a custom one as well. You can even upload your own audio and do it. Now, I have got a complete Suno AI tutorial as well, which I'll link on the card or on the description. You can check that out at your time. So let's give a prompt quickly, like create a song about a guy called Tom who enjoys freedom by working from home, rock version with energetic music and click on create. As soon as you do that, you can see over here, the songs are being created by the AI, right? And as you can see, they have been created as of now. So what we can do is that we can just come over to any of these songs and we can just click on it and that will open up the song as you can see over here. So in here, you can see uh, there is a play button which we can play the song and in here there is the control uh, buttons as well so in here you can find all the lyrics as well uh, you can just take a look at this and this is amazing right so let's play this and listen to this So it sounds amazing right now we can go ahead and actually download this as well just click on this download and from here you can choose the audio version right just click on that and it would be downloaded onto your pc now uh you can also go ahead and listen to the alternate version available as well just click on that again you will find the same lyrics over here just click on the play button So again, you can download this one as well. You can download the audio. On the line, Skype calls, but he feels fine. Deadlines close, but walls fade. Living life in homemade shape. Okay, so that's it regarding the first step and that's done and dusted. So this will take us to a second step, which is generating the background images. And again, we are going to use another free tool, Leonardo AI. Now within Leonardo AI, we are going to choose Leonardo Lightning as the preset. And then the style will choose 3D render. Then we'll choose a rectangular background because we are creating a YouTube video. And then we can choose the number of images, whatever we wish to. Then in here we can give a prompt like a well lit up stage having three pixel like 3D characters with few music instruments, one of them playing guitar, one of them playing drum and the other playing piano. And as you can see it has created this amazing amazing pictures right. So what we can do is that we can just take a look at how it looks now. This is a little morphed right. So uh, maybe I'm not liking this one so let's check out this one. This looks amazing, right? You can see all the characters are perfect and they are playing the instrument. So I can go ahead and download this image as well. So that's our second step done and dusted. 
Now we would actually move over to our third step. For this, we are going to use a 3D animation software called Create Studio. Now, this is an amazing software. You don't need any expertise to create anything. Just go over new project and in here, go over to media. And in here, you can upload your medias, right? So let us upload the stage background that we have. So just drag it onto this timeline, as you can see. Then we can increase the length of this asset. Let us make it 20 seconds. And then let's go ahead and import the music that we have created. So again, double click and it would be imported. Now we can drag it to the timeline again and boom, there you go. So let's hear. So you can see it looks amazing, right? So now what we can do is that uh, we can go ahead and actually add a 3D character. So for that, we'll head over to studio and in here you can see there are characters. So if you click on that, you can find there are plenty of characters or you can create your custom character as well. Let's drag this guy over here and we will actually customize this character as well towards the end of this tutorial. So stay with me till the end of it, right? And as you can see, the character has been added. Now we can go ahead and add different actions to it. You can see there are plenty of actions available. So currently we are going to give it a walk animation, right? And then on the animation, we will set the property as a position like we will make it to walk from outside of the stage to inside now you can see there are two keyframes so on the first keyframe we will position it out of the screen just like this right and select the second keyframe now come over to the studio and in here just adjust it so that uh, give it the final position now let's play and see it walk There you go. So the work, the turn, it sounds like a real man entry, right? So let's give it another two actions like wave, right? And then again, we need to extend this character until the music is playing. So let's again give a wave action to it so that it waves to its audience while the music is going on, right? So we have done that. Now let's play this. And as you can see here, the song has started, right? So now we can go ahead and add another action. And this time we'll be adding the dancing. So since the song has started, he I'm needs to dance, size, right? No boss, no ties, no big surprise. So you can see that. So we can go ahead and actually add another dancing uh, animation to it. Now in this way, we can actually go ahead and add anything like happy. We can go ahead and add another thing like happy. As you can see over here, we can adjust the timelines as well. So that's all doable. Now you can see the music is protruding. So let's cut off the extra part. Let us make it a 20 second video. Let's play this. So you can see it looks amazing right now i want to import the lip sync so for that i need to find exactly from where the song starts right so i've identified that position now let's go over here and click on the cut and on the audio you can right click and select same with the character right now on the preview On the preview, the lip sync won't work, but once we export, you can see it. I'll show you. Now let's enhance this. Let's add a camera object. I'll also add a doodle object as well. Don't worry. So once we add, add a camera object, you can see a camera frame comes up. Now we can just go ahead and add camera animation. Say I want to zoom on this character. So what we can do is that right click, click on add animation, and then we can also uh, set up the duration of that animation, right? And then in here, we can select where we want to zoom. We want to zoom on his face, right? So we can do this. Now let's play and see the zooming. There you go, right? So that's how this works. Now you can you can see for the entire video it would be zoomed in. Now we need to zoom out as well. For that we are going to add another animation and then again adjust the duration of the animation and then going out what of the animation object we just need to expand the camera, right? Click on that and boom there would be a zoom out. So it will look like this, right? So that's how it happens. Now it doesn't stop here. We can go ahead and add a spotlight object as well. 
you can see over here i have added a spotlight on tom now what i can do is that i can check out how it looks i can adjust the duration and the timing when it appears Size, no boss, no ties, no big surprise. I think it's too much long, so I need to shorten the duration. No boss, no ties, no big Quite amazing, right? But the spotlight is missing his legs, so let's uh, actually fix the shape of the spotlight and no boss, no ties, look no at that. Surprise. That's Coffee amazing, right? So that's how this works. Now we can go ahead and add a text element to it as well and uh, we can edit it however we want to and position it wherever we want to. Now let's add a doodle effect to it. So just go by effects and from there drag the doodle effect onto the text uh, icon, right? And once you do that, you can see all the doodle settings are available like the hand choice, the hand size, shaking, all of that, right? Now you can actually adjust the doodle speed as well. You can just drag this to make the doodle speed a little slower or you can uh, make it faster as well. That's up to you. So let's make it a little slower so that um, we can clearly see the doodle effect. Now let's play this and check out the doodle effect. So you can see that, right? So that's amazing stuff that it has. Now let's customize the character. Just go over to the style and from there you can customize the top, the pant, the eyeglasses, the hairstyle, the mustache style. You can also add logos, backpacks, accessories. You can change the color of everything. All of that is possible. Now once all of this is done, we can click on publish and from here we can change the aspect ratio. We can have a vertical or a horizontal video, whatever we like to and give it a name and hit on publish and boom, you can see the export has started and it would be completed in a few seconds. Now once it is done, we can take a look at the final output. Look at this. Just look at that. It's amazing, right? So that's how easy it is to actually make your 3D character sing with lip sync to AI generated songs. Now, I will link that in the description a complete tutorial to create studio. If you wish to take a look at that, please feel free to do that. And also I'll leave a link to my Suno AI tutorial as well. If you want to take a look at that, you can do that as well. Also, I will link another tool that is Leonardo AI that I used. Again, it would be in the description. So feel free to watch them all and uh, if you wish to know more about create studio then definitely you can take a look at my create studio review which would be down in the description as well and in there there are a ton of bonuses as well and the best part create studio can be available at a one time small price it's a lifetime deal that it is in currently and it's one of the best 3d animation software that you can have i'm using it for over three years now and it's an amazing software you can use it to grow your youtube channel to your grow your social media followings you can even use it on places like fiverr and upwork to make a ton of money using freelancing as well so again if you wish to know more about create studio then please consider watching the video in the description below so we'll meet again pretty soon somewhere over the internet until then please take care of yourself and your families and don't forget to keep making money online signing off is shyan take care bye bye